Here are the top local stories you need to know as you start your day. Your Monday morning rush starts right now. We're learning new details about an incident that caused three USC football players to get removed from the team. It all happened at the end of January. Richland County officials say Anthony Rose, Montague Rames and Cameron Upshaw were found exchanging an AR-15 rifle inside a university residence hall. University police say camera footage from inside the building showed Rames hiding the rifle in his pants while leaving the property. Rames and Rose were booked into the Richland County Jail. Gamecock head coach Shane Beamer has since said the three players involved will not return to the team. Today, Governor McMaster will sign the Scout Motors bill. The signing will give the green light for a $3 billion electric vehicle making plant to be built in Blythewood. This comes after a week-long process of the motion making its way through the House and Senate. Part of the bill says a majority of the 4,000 workers the facility will hire have to be local. The company says they hope to start building cars three years from now. Well, you may see some changes to your morning route if your drive takes you downtown Main Street here in Columbia. The South Carolina Department of Transportation has shifted traffic in the area as part of the South Main Street Streetscape project. Traffic has now moved to two lanes on the eastern side of South Main Street, which is the side closest to Sumter Street. Transportation officials say traffic will remain open in both directions and all businesses in the project area will remain accessible. However, drivers should expect delays in the area today as SCDOT relocates stoplights to match a new traffic pattern. And there's your morning rush for details on these stories and more. Just head to our website, WLTX.com. You can also find the very latest on the News 19 app.